Now, I know, um, Dr. Young, a lot of this has to do as well as to what kind of hernia. And we do have an image um, um, that shows us the different types of hernias that you touched upon. And I would love for you to kind of go through these individually and based on techniques and based on which are the most common hernias that, that we see or that you see. Well, this is actually a very nice uh, graphic, and I, I might have to steal it from my <laughs> office. The one I have is a little too narrow, it doesn't show it as well. However, again, if you, this is the abdominal wall, uh, and the ribs would come out in this area here, the belly button, if we take that as a central point, is in this location, and that's the umbilical area where we see umbilical hernias. There are some hernias which will occur above the belly button, which in this case is labeled epigastric. Mm -hmm. We also refer to them as ventral hernias. Lateral hernias are on the side of the abdominal wall. They are uh, not quite as common unless somebody has had an incision there in the past. Again, you, there's a demonstration of an incisional hernia here, which uh, is probably in the location where someone had an appendix incision. Okay. The most common are the inguinal hernias, which are down here, and you can see they're in the groin crease in this location. Okay, and when you see recurring hernia, a Dr. Young, this can happen to any of these types of hernias? Yes, the uh, most common types of hernia, obviously I think the bigger the hernia, the more difficult it is to repair, and then the technique that is used are determined factors of whether a hernia will come back again or recur. Mm -hmm.